Well, I really don't know what else to say, doctor. The man is a fucking moron. Let's try to keep things civil. Oh, we're way past the point of civility here. We've actually moved on to smothering. The woman is smothering me. Let's not over-exaggerate. That's just it, Doc. I'm not. The bitch literally tried to smother me last night. Oh, for Christ's sake, Dale. I simply moved my pillow a little more on your side of the bed to get comfortable. More like you moved your pillow over my face. The bitch is trying to kill me, Doc. I just know it. Paranoid prick. Oh, fuck you, Satan. Okay, then. I, I think that's enough time for sharing. Why don't we move on to the more Marvin Monroe way of things by releasing your anger via these little beauties. Now go ahead and start swinging and release your anger in a healthy way. Doctor, could I have a moment? Of course. Well, keep at it, you two. If psychiatry has taught me anything, it is that beating each other off can produce a pleasant outcome. What's up? She's back. Get rid of her. That's not as easy as it sounds. I mean, you're the one who's paid to deal with the crazy. You take care of her. If you don't get rid of her, you're fired. Son of a... Sorry about that. So how's it going? See you later, Greg! She's busy right now. She can't. No, you baby, get your face! What was that? Oh, it's probably just my secretary with a question about how to work her paper clips. Give me a second. Shit. Hello, Doctor. Catherine! You scared me. Uh, you know what scares me? Your inability to return a phone call. I'm sorry, Catherine, that I haven't been able to get back to you, but I've just been a little bit busy. Yes, having Al and Peg Bundy over here smack each other with soft sticks is definitely a better use of your time than helping me. Well, I'm glad you agree. I was being sarcastic, dipshit. Seriously, how long have you known me? Too long. <laughs> what was that? I said it's been too long since the last time that we had a visit, and I would love to rectify the situation, but as you can see, Catherine, I'm in the middle of a couple's counseling. You know, at first I attributed your lack of bedside manner and your unresponsiveness to your young age, but now I just see that you're a plastic. A what? A plastic. You know the movie Mean Girls? That's what you are. A mean girl. Excuse me, but who the hell is this clown? I'm not paying you 250 bucks an hour so some fuckstick can steal your time from me. <laughs> I'm sorry, miss. May I borrow your little stick? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uploaders, the most prolific group of viral video producers you've never heard of. That was amazing. I don't know why I was wasting my time trying to smother him with a pillow, but I get to just knock them senseless with a metal pole. Don't interrupt me when I'm interrupting. Fucking interrupters. Now, where were we? Catherine. This behavior is completely unacceptable, and not only have you misused my emotion bats, but you have had a complete mental meltdown in the middle of my office without even having an appointment with me. And I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, but not before I write you a bill for my time. And I'm sorry to turn my back on you at this time. I know it's not the best idea, but I think with this, we've learned a lot of trust in each other. <laughs> idiot. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Catherine, what the, what the shit? Seriously? You're getting on my last nerve. Where are Dale and Martha? Oh, I propped them up in the corner over there, Blair Witch style. 
I figured they could use a timeout. Catherine, this is not the way to get healthy. I know that you have some serious issues going on, but we have to get to the root of oh, the root of my issues is that I'm not firing on all cylinders. Therefore, my temper, which is unusually high, has transmogrified into acts of violence. So much so that all I really want to do is squeeze your little face until it pops like a zit. Hmm. The, however, the first step in having a problem is admitting that you have a problem. And with your medical expertise and me, I think we could figure out what the aforementioned problem is and make me somewhat normal. So what do you say? Can you help a brother out? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Oh, the random FYI. I'm gonna film our little session because uh, I'm under the sad hope that one thing I film will go viral and you know, that makes me happy. Okay with you? Absolutely. You know, I think that making a hit internet video will help solve all your problems. So why don't you tell me all about it? Ah, don't mind if I do. When I was five, the bad man touched me here, here, and multiple times here. Catherine, that's not really what I meant. I meant, tell me how this whole viral video gang of yours began. Oh, <laughs> well that's far less graphic and equally disturbing. It was a cold winter's morn back in 2010. I was bored and decided to watch some poorly produced videos on YouTube and I thought, hey, I can make poorly produced videos on YouTube and then fame and fortune would be mine. So I slapped an ad on Craigslist and I got seven individuals just like myself and thus the uploaders was born. <laughs> In uh, retrospect, I probably should have had a much more intense screening process, but you know, hey, yeah, work with what you got. <laughs> Fascinating. I know, right? But now here it is several years later and I'm still not a popular somebody. But you know what? I don't even think I care anymore. Elaborate? Well, after our last attempt at making a hit internet video that unfortunately left one of our teammates dead, <laughs> I came to the realization that this shit is real, you know? And you know, I've been trying so hard to make people love me that I've lost sight of what's important. And what does that mean? I don't fucking know! That's why we're here! All I do know is that my efforts into producing a hit internet video are going totally unappreciated. It seems like the only way I'll ever truly be famous is if I'm dead too. You know, oh, kind of like that guy, that painter guy, you know, that cut off his ear? Van Gogh? Huh? Van Gogh. Yeah, Van's go. Fish swim, people suck. <laughs> but can we bring the focus back to me, okay? Jesus Christ! What do I do? I've run out of video ideas, and I think I have a fungal infection on my hand, which, you know, by the way, you should probably pure all your face because I gagged you and all. Good God. Catherine, look, perhaps this quest for fame and fortune that you've placed on your band of misfits, it's just not meant to be. What do you mean? Well, you said it yourself. You found seven people, just like you, you're all directionless. And maybe your group, the uploaders, needs something more, something greater. Oh my God, you're right. It's so fucking simple. The uploaders have wasted so much time and energy trying to get people to love us, trying to create the ultimate viral video when it's become clear what we must do. We must destroy the internet. That's not really what I meant. Who cares what you meant? The point is, I have come up with the answer to this conundrum and I am totally satisfied with it. <laughs> Thanks for the help, self-psychology. Catherine, huh? aren't you forgetting something? Oh, that's right. <sighs> oh, there we go. You know, you might want to look into a new line of work because you suck at helping people. <laughs> Toodles, noodles! Thank <laughs> you.
Ooh. Mm -hmm.